it's snow season. Today we're going to be changing the tires on the old Cobalt, take the summers off, put the snow tires on, not just because it's winter, but because something else. And I'll show you why in a minute. So I don't know if you remember the video a few back, just a short glimpse of uh, changing the rear axle on this car. That was the main reason why this problem happened. I didn't know that when I bought the car, so just kind of figured it out as we went. I started cooking tires, kind of narrowed it down why, and uh, this is what it did. So here's the tire here. This was on the right rear. You can see it's perfect tread here. And all of a sudden over here, these uh, piano strings started coming out pretty bad. It's definitely a, uh, not a good tire anymore. They're going to be for sale though. 50% tread, 50% off. So uh, come and get it. 10 bucks, it's yours. Not the rim, just the tire. I mean, it's still got lots of life left it on it on this side. So don't worry about the inside. Worry about the outside. That's more uh, crucial when you're doing those cornerings at uh, fast speeds with the car this fast well we got them all off snow's put on they're torqued everything's good to go except one little problem this one here needs a little bit more wind in it a little bit low but uh not a huge deal I did some research on Google about uh, how to get more wind in one of these tires. I don't have an air compressor here in my shop. So I just read online there that you put it outside. Tomorrow's going to be a pretty windy day in my area. So you just leave the uh, valve cap off and the wind kind of just forces air into it. And by tomorrow night, it should have about 45, 50 pounds in it. So it's a lot better than buying a compressor and having air tools in here when you can just roll it out the door and it'll kind of fill itself. God, I never thought I'd uh, come across that forum, but I'm glad I did. I hope it works. Well, now that we got the car ready to go, tires changed. Waited like three days. Finally got air in that uh, left front. It was soft, but we're good to go now. It's ready to rip. And yes, we are usually going to take that car down trails. We go in the mud, we go in the snow, we go in dirt, we go in whatever. Definitely a lot more than we go through in the truck. But that's what it's for. It's just an old beater. Do yourself a favor. Change your tires for the winter. It's a complete difference going from about a bald summer tire on your truck to a 44-inch bogger in the mud. That's how big of a difference it is. So do yourselves a favor, change them. Otherwise you'll get all cattywampus, end up in the ditch, upside down. You don't want that. So get them changed. We'll see y'all on the next one. Thanks for watching.